Hello Divas, I am Cherry West, the Red Berry of Edinburgh and welcome to a little get to know me video. I posted on my Instagram story the other day that I was going to film a Q&A and to ask what sort of questions you want me to answer. So for those that put questions in, I'm going to answer them all. I've got them all here on my phone. Mama, I got a lot of questions. So I'm going to go through them and answer them all. So let's get right on to the video. See, I've always actually wanted to, that's quite good. Anyway, let's go. So to start this video off, let's go with a little easy, simple question. So this was a question from one of you guys who asked, what inspired you to do drag? Me and my family went to Lanzarote in about, I think it was like 2018. Um, and obviously since I was a kid, I loved going to like caravan parts and watching entertainers and stuff like that. So they knew obviously I loved, I loved watching stuff like that. So we went to a drag show as like my Nana and stuff and my mum love drag shows. Like they, they find them absolutely hilarious. Um, so we went to this drag show. I can't actually remember the name of it. Um, but if I find out, obviously I'll put it in the video. Um, but yeah, so we went to this drag show and I was like, I want to do that. Like I literally, I've always wanted to be an entertainer when I was older, but when I found drag, I was like, I, I need to do this. I felt like I was born to like entertain people. So I was like, drag is the easiest way to express what I want to do. I quite a little story about this. So obviously I was like obsessed with it. I loved it. They put my dad up on stage and stuff and they, it was so funny. Um, but yeah, so I got a DVD um, from them because I was like I need to watch this again I, I want to be able to watch it all the time and um, so I got a DVD I was like I'm not going to watch it now because obviously we were on holiday so I was like I'm not going to watch it now I'm going to watch it when I get back home I planned a whole night for it we put the DVD in the DVD player and it didn't even work and I was so annoyed because I couldn't even come back couldn't even like go and return it back to the shop because it's in Lanzarote and I was like do you know what oh well that happened um but yeah so I want my money back for that DVD thank you very much <laughs> Um, but yeah, moving on to the next question is, what is your favourite wig that you own? Now, to be fair, just now, this is probably one of my favourite wigs I own. I wear it like in every video. Um, but this is one of my favourites. This was styled by an amazing drag queen from Glasgow called Trujazzo. And do you know what? I usually flip my wigs around and it's stayed like this. So if you're needing a wig or a wig restyle, head over to Rujazzo's Instagram. I've linked it in my bio. Um, she's literally phenomenal. The next question I got was, one that actually I really like answering a lot. Um, the question was, what would you say to younger people hoping to do drag? Now, what I would say, because obviously I'm still at the young age where I can't obviously go out to nightclubs and stuff because I'm only 14. So when people get these questions, obviously the first thing I've been told from a lot of older drag queens is focus on makeup first. Um, I was told this after I started drag. Um, so focus on makeup first um, and then get the wigs and outfits after. Obviously, the thing that went wrong for me is I done it all at the same time. I started makeup and then I started getting outfits and wigs at the exact same time. And that's how I still don't know where my mug is or how I want my face. Well, that's why like every video it changes, to be honest. But it does show growth. Um, I, to be fair, I really like this mug that I've done tonight. I think it's one of my favourite looks that I've looked like. Um, and Mama, this, this like... Outfit's actually quite cute. Like, I love red. I don't know if anyone's not this. I don't wear it that much. <laughs> so moving on to my next question. One of you guys asked, what's my favourite part about being a young drag queen? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer two different ways. Like, what's my favourite part and what's my least favourite part? Um, but to start things off, my favourite part of being like a young drag queen is I feel like a lot of people, like, I can relate to a lot of people, a lot of younger queens that... Um, like do the same stuff as me because before like when I started drag I didn't even know any younger queens and I feel like I think it's good to like start speaking to younger queens like the same age so you can like get to know each other and um, so I think that's like my favorite part of being a young drag queen like getting to see all these queens and um, but my least favorite thing about being a young drag queen is obviously like there's so much stuff I want to do but can't because I'm under 18 which is it leaves excitement for when I am 18 because I've been asked to do a couple of stuff whereas I couldn't because I was under 18, which is really annoying. But I mean, it's life. You have to get used to it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's basically my favourite and least favourite part of being a drag queen. Now, to be honest, I did assume that I would get this question. Um, so this question is, who's your favourite drag race winner and why? Now, let's get comfy, mama, because I can go through the whole list. Now, to be honest, I don't have a Pacific favourite winner because I think all of them deserve it a lot but if I had to pick <laughs> um, my favourite winner would be Bianca Del Rio I absolutely love Bianca like she is an incredible queen I am not yet to see her live but hopefully um, and she's got a tour out in the UK so hopefully I get tickets to see that um, for Christmas as I have asked um, but hopefully I get to go 
I just love her. I think she was absolutely hilarious, like, when she was on her season six. Um, I think she's done really well for her career, like, out of Drag Race. Obviously, she's been touring with false events. She's been on Everybody Talking About Jamie Tour. I just love her. I think she's absolutely hilarious when she was ripping into people. I think it's just so funny. Um, and let's just say my favourite UK winner would be... Um, see, I don't know, because I literally love... Obviously, Christopher Versace just got crowned. My favourite two winners that I've met is Vivian and Lawrence Cheney. Um, oh, my God, I'm literally seeing... When this video was out, I would have just met Lawrence Cheney. So I'm going to insert a little clip of me out of drag meeting Lawrence Cheney. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love Lawrence Cheney. Like, she is absolutely incredible now my next question is frequently asked a lot when i'm like on tiktok lives and stuff some people ask like the best wig companies slash where i get my wigs um now obviously as i said earlier in this video my favorite wig is this wig from the jazzle um but if you want some wig companies i will link a lot down below um such as drag helmet wigs manhandled wigs um vs wigs wigs by tip there's actually so many like they're absolutely incredible now my next question is from one of you guys and it says show a picture of your first drag transformation. Now I'm not gonna lie, this, if you, th you think I look bad here, wait till you see this picture. Now this was December 20, 2020, no, yeah it was 2020, December 2020, so it was last year. Um, I was like, why did you do my makeup? So my sister done my makeup, it's a mess. Um, and then I got a wig from Wigs by Tiff and an outfit from Freak Couture MCR. Um, so if you want to look at this picture, here it is now. Oh my god, don't even. Don't even. Ah! Look at that. I literally look a mess. Like, I can't even look at that properly. That was, so obviously I didn't start drag, then I was just trying it out. And then, and then I did eventually start practicing makeup in January. And then I officially made an Instagram on the 6th of February. So it is nearly coming up to my one year drag anniversary which is iconic. I've got a really cool post in plan for that. So I'm very excited to show you all. Um, but yeah. Now, one of my next question is, how did your family react? Now, I was I was guessing I was going to get this question as it is quite interesting. Um, to be fair, mine is basically just my family love drag. As I said, I went to Lanzarote, seen a drag show with them. They they support me all the way. Like my dad, my dad got me this outfit, literally, like from a charity shop. He was like, let's go charity shop shopping. Um, and he came back with this. And like I'm literally just so grateful for how supportive my family is. As I do hear a lot of stories like every day from younger queens and just like queens in general. Um, I do hear a lot of stories that they have a hard time at home with family supporting them and stuff, which is really heartbreaking. Um, so my next question that I'm going to be answering is, did you think when you started you were going to get this far now? To be honest, no. I literally, I will insert a clip of when I was starting to practice makeup. Like, I looked rough. Now, I cannot believe I went on a Zoom call with vinegar strokes looking like that. Like, I literally cannot get over how bad I looked back then. Um, and this was the same wig. It just got restyled, honestly. Like, I I love getting wigs restyled, um, if they can be restyled, because some wigs are, are bad. Um, now, for my next question, one of these asked how long it takes me to get into makeup. Now, to be fair, this does depend on, like, if I'm in a rush or like, it just depends what I'm doing, to be honest. Um, when I film YouTube videos, sometimes I don't cover my eyebrows, so it usually takes me about an hour. But when I do cover my eyebrows, like today it took me about, I would say about an hour and 45 minutes. Um, I actually love my makeup today. Like hopefully like my makeup stays like this because I think I, think I do suit like a nude eye. Um, but yeah, um, it usually takes me like an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, um, depending on what I'm doing. So the next question is, how did you come up with your drag name? Now, this is quite like a, a long story, but like I'm going to try and short it down. So basically, um, my original drag name was like before Cherry West was Red Berry West. So I was speaking to this Scottish queen and basically I, I, I was explaining how I felt like I always had to wear red because I had Red Berry West in the name. I don't know why, because um, obviously I've got Cherry West, which is still like a cherry's red. But like, I feel like because I've not got a specific colour, I don't have to always do that. Even though you may always think I'm in red, like I wear quite a lot of different colours um, and try different things. Well guys, that is it for all the questions. Thank you to everyone who put questions in. If you have anything you want me to do for video ideas, put them in the comments down below, because I really enjoy filming this. Like, I think it's good to get away from just reviewing episodes every single week. Um, so. I really enjoyed this one. I've literally got so many ideas that I cannot wait to put out there. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on all social medias at Cherry West Official. If you have any other questions, comment them down below and I will probably reply um, unless I fall asleep. <laughs>
but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you all next time bye